Weston Paul and David Egbo grew up on opposite ends of the Atlantic, but both share that same obsession with the world's most popular sport, the beautiful game. Paul grew up playing in his hometown of Mayaro on the island of Trinidad and Tobago. He and his friends would play pickup on the side of the street and in parks. There's a recreation ground where I moved to. So I had a friend, a close friend of mine, who used to play for a team there at the time. And like he just invited me, he was like, hey, come on and let's go training, whatever. And that was it. I started playing from then. Organized football at the age of 12. Current 901 FC captain has been a member of the Trinidad and Tobago national team for almost 20 years. And then I moved on from then. Um, at the age of 40, 14, I made my first national team. And the U15 Trinidad and Tobago national team. And then it's been a ride since the age of 14 till now. The midfielder led his team to the under-17 FIFA World Cup and later the under-20 World Cup in 2009. His standout play in 2009 caught the attention of the University of South Florida. Then my mom was like, you gotta go to college. He excelled at USF, earning Rookie of the Year honors in 2010. Paul graduated in three years and went back to his home country to play professionally. After playing in the Caribbean from 2014 to 2018, Paul was scouted by former 901 FC general manager Andrew Bell and signed for the Bluff City Club in 2019. Since then, the now 32-year-old has been named captain and is one of the integral leaders of the team. It's always, it's always an honor, you know, to, to be part of this, this, uh, this team, this franchise from, from day one to now, to be called captain, you know. Um, anyway, I go, I always try to lead. Across the Atlantic, 23-year-old David Egbo, born in Kaduna, Nigeria, has a similar story. It's actually funny because, like, you know, growing up in Nigeria, like, the first thing, like, the first sport you, you learn, like, it's, it's football. Like, on the streets, you're playing with your, with your best friends, your brother. Like, but then, and then when you get exposed, like, you start growing up, then you start to consider other sports, but you start knowing about other sports. But the main thing there is, like, like it's weird if someone's not playing football. <laughs> like, that's how much... It is a, a, a sport in that country. So I, I think um, I think I was blessed to to be born in a country that like you know that uh, that like loves the sport and like really really devotes uh, their time to the to to the sport. David went from playing with his friends to playing for the Pepsi Academy in Nigeria. The forward eventually earned a scholarship that's given to young Nigerians who excel in both sports and studies. That scholarship brought him to the U.S. Uh, for me, at, at a very young age, my goal was to just uh, play professional soccer. Like, to be honest with you, I, I never actually wanted to come to the U.S. So when, like, the opportunity came up, my, my parents were like, hey, you got an education. Because my dad was always big on education. Like, my, my biological uh, dad was always big on, like, you got to get an education. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I guess I'm, I'm going to do this. So I went and, uh, and I came to the U.S. And, uh, you know, and it was, um, I'd say, the best decision I've ever made my entire life like hands down. When the young Nigerian came to the States, he noticed the amount of training grounds and soccer facilities readily available. Like so literally we play on sand like it's any good field you see it's pretty locked up or it's and like it's I can't even think of well, even like a training pitch like and like you can find thousands of fields like this just in the state of Mississippi alone not to talk of the whole country as a whole. David was a standout in high school which led him to a collegiate career at the University of Akron. Left foot. Oh, oh what a my goal. gosh. David the forward scored 21 goals and provided 13 assists and 56 appearances for the Zips across three seasons. He was unable to play his senior year due to COVID-19, and in 2021 he was selected ninth in the MLS Super Draft by the Vancouver Whitecaps. Yeah, getting drafted was pretty cool, you know, just hearing your name, it was, uh, it's pretty amazing. When you show up here, it's literally, for me, it's like a college reunion. Everyone that I've literally played against and played with at some point is pretty nice, you know. Right now, Egbo is on loan to the 901 FC to help him develop his skills. I wouldn't change my time here in Memphis for anything. David Egbo and Leston Paul took different paths, but at the end of the day, their hard work and grit led them to professional soccer, a grit that was manifested at an early age. Reporting from Memphis, I'm Caleb Hilliard.